Hey guys, what's going on? It's Coach Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training. Today, we're talking two strike hitting, and we're talking about how you can cut down, reduce your strikeouts, okay? You know, strikeouts, they suck because it's, it's really nothing positive for your team when you strike out. Even if you hit a ball hard somewhere on the ground, you know, the infielders still have to field the ball cleanly and they have to make a good solid throw to get you out. When you strike out, there's literally nothing that, that you know, has to happen. You're not putting any pressure on the defense. So it's important to put the ball in play if you want to hit for a high average. It's important to put the ball in play. And players ask me a lot, you know, what's the best way to cut down strikeouts? And you know the answer? The best way to cut down strikeouts is to not get to two strikes, right? It sounds pretty, you know, like common sense. But if you don't get to two strikes, then you can't get to three. So, you know, what's the, the lesson behind that? You know, if you struggle hitting with two strikes, uh, then try and put the ball in play before you get to two strikes, okay? Be aggressive early. Look for your pitch. Hunt fastballs on the white of the plate. And if you get your pitch, you know, don't miss it. Don't foul it off or anything. Drive the ball into gaps, gap to gap. And, you know, put the ball in play hard somewhere and good things are going to happen for you. So I think it's really important that you have to understand the strike zone, okay? Uh, you have to understand the strike zone and you have to have, you know, good uh, awareness and pitch recognition, okay? You can't be swinging at curveballs in the dirt all the time and expect to be a good hitter. Good hitters swing at good pitches that they can handle in the strike zone. So just start, you know, an awareness of where things are at in regard to you know, you know the plate so it starts in batting practice right you know take pitches if they're too high or too low or too in or too out don't just swing at everything because it's batting practice take pitches learn strike zone awareness and that's really going to help you out okay so like i mentioned uh, don't leave it up to the umpire either uh, a lot of the times you'll see um, you know players get called out on strikes and they get struck out looking, and a lot of the times it's on the outer half, okay? In fact, something like 70 or 80% of strikeouts are on the outer half of the plate. So, one little uh, you know, adjustment that you can make both physically and mentally is to get closer to the plate, number one. So what I mean by that is if I normally stand here like this with two strikes, I'm gonna scoot this way, scoot closer to the plate so I can reach that outside pitch and so I can kind of take away that outer third of the plate, okay? So it's not only a physical adjustment, but it's also a mental adjustment as well. You're thinking outside and you're reacting in. It's literally impossible. If I'm thinking about getting an inside pitch with two strikes, it's impossible for me to then go out and poke that pitch and, and, and put it in play. But if I'm thinking outside and reacting in, if he throws me, if he tries to bust me in with a fastball, I can just pull my hands in like this and I can at least foul it off or I can hit it down the line or something like that. But think outside and react in. It's the same with infielders who you know, um, you know, know, have trouble staying down on baseballs and stuff. The way that our body works naturally is you start from the ground when you're fielding a ground ball and you work up. You don't start here like this and try and stab down at it. It's the same with hitting. You don't start thinking about you know a pitch in and try and work away. You start out and then just react to anything in, okay? But that's one of the first adjustments that you can make that's really gonna help you with two strikes. Stand closer to the plate, eliminate that, that outer third of the plate, and I, I promise you it's really gonna help you. A lot of pitchers with two strikes try to live away. So understand what they're trying to do to you and do the opposite, right? Some more uh, physical adjustments that you can make. You can choke up on the bat, okay? What that's gonna do for you is it's gonna improve your bat control. Some players like to choke up, some don't, but if you have two strikes, I highly recommend that you choke up just a little bit. It doesn't have to be up here or anything, but just a little bit, get a little bit more bat control. Uh, you're not gonna have as much, obviously, as much length in your bat, so another reason we're standing closer to the plate, but you're gonna be a lot quicker with your bat, you're gonna have better control, you're gonna be able to put the ball in play a little bit more consistently. The final physical adjustment that I recommend is spread out with your feet. Get a little bit of a wider base. So if you're normally, you know, like this in your stance, just get a little bit wider. I'm not saying get, you know, Albert Pujols wide or anything like that, but just get a little bit wider. So we're a little bit closer to the plate. We're a little bit wider. We've choked up on the bat a little bit, and then we're thinking outside. We're reacting in. Okay. So those are the physical adjustments. As far as mental adjustments, because we can't just adjust our physical features, we have to adjust our mindset with two strikes as well. Uh, you know, something that I like to think about is really see the ball for as long as possible and see the ball as best as I can. Um, you can't hit what you can't see, right? So we have to make sure that our eyes are on the baseball. We're recognizing spin, especially when you're down 0-2 or 1-2. A lot of the times guys are going to be throwing curveballs and junk. So you have to be able to recognize 
the spin on the ball, the location where it's going, that type of thing. So really see the ball for uh, you know as well as you can and for as long as possible. Let the ball travel. Let it get deep. With two strikes, I try and take everything away. I'm not trying to pull the baseball unless he makes a mistake and throws me in, but then it's just a reaction at that point. I'm not trying to pull the baseball. Okay, if you, if you with two strikes, if you're trying to pull the baseball, your face is going to lift, everything's going to come off the ball, and you're, you're never going to be able to you know hit a curveball low and away or anything like that. So think about hitting the ball if you're a right-handed hitter, you know, right center gap to down the right field line. Let the ball travel. Let it get deep. And, you know, worst case scenario, fight the pitch off, foul it off, and live to see another day, okay? So these are all things that can really help you eliminate and cut down your strikeouts. Guys, get close to the plate. Have, uh, you know, an aggressive mindset. You're swinging until it's a ball, right? And realize that, you know, hitting, it's not a fashion show. It's a battle up there. So you're going to get close to the plate. That pitcher, he's not going to beat you. He's not better than you. His stuff's not better. You're a great hitter, okay? You have to have that mindset. And, you know, it's a battle in here. Who's going to win the battle, okay? Don't go down looking. Put a good swing on the ball. Put the ball in play. Make something happen. And I promise you that's going to help you uh, cut down strikeouts and uh, become a much better hitter. So if you enjoyed these tips, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a thumb Thumbs up, okay, get in the comment section below. Let me know what you want me to make future videos about. And if you've stuck around this long, I know you're a serious player. I want to help you improve your bat speed with a free bat speed workout. So all you have to do to get that workout, click right here, click on this image. If you're on your mobile device or your tablet, that's not going to work. Just click on the first link below this video in the description, okay? But that's going to take you to my website. All I need is your email address, and I will send you that free bat speed workout. So thanks so much for watching. Go get your free bat speed workout, and I'll see you next time.